Hey guys, today's IGN reveal was of another new Crucible map, Vostok, coming in Destiny 2. If you're saying to yourself, this looks really familiar, well, you're right, because this is Fell Winter Peak, or at least the area right before the social space. This area is normally explorable when it's either Iron Banner Week or you use an Eisenfire token to launch yourself over, but most notably, it's during the first story mission. For a more in-depth look at the map with Bungie, you can check the description for IGN's walkthrough, but I wanted to take a look at the area right now and see how it compares to what we saw in IGN's gameplay. And there aren't too many changes. It is pretty one-to-one -one for the most part. Most of the changes come from Bungie opening up certain areas and removing a bunch of the fallen containers from the map, but we'll get into some of those changes right now. The main fighting area on the map is going to be the B flag, which is right here on the deck of the main fortress. You have access to the majority of the map from this area. The sniper tower right here is opened, which gives you better access to anyone coming from the C side of the map, which is where you first come up when you do the story mission. There's also a new tower added to the other side, and this side was also revamped a bit to fit the needs of the map. There's a big metal awning you can jump on or use as protection if you go inside. There's also some railings added that were not there previously. C is the gondola station, and this looks like it remained pretty intact. You have the upstairs area to check in on people coming your way, but otherwise you're a bit open to attack from the front and back if you're capturing the flag. A is where Everdeet normally is when Iron Banner is live, but this building is actually open now with the capture zone in the middle of the room and a lot of doorways leading into it. As for what has changed, the most notable change is the cave tunnel designed to be a junction between all of the areas on the map. This tunnel is cut through the main mountain area. A and C are also connected through a similar carving of the mountain. The path is very short connecting the two of them. For a better look at some of the more intricate paths and whatnot, check out IGN's coverage. But for the most part, those are some of the largest changes. As for any gameplay notes from the video, there were a few. First, we finally get a little bit of closure on the fate of Shoulder Charge now. It is not a one-shot kill. It didn't even break this person's shield in the clip shown, and it does eat your melee charge. So while your melee attack is recharging, you do not get the shoulder charge effect. We get a quick view of another sentinel grenade. Looks like they'll have access to the void wall grenade. Speaking of grenades, this striker titan had two grenades, but obviously we do not know the source of the second grenade just yet. Could be an exotic, not sure. In this clip, we see a shotgun doing precision damage to an opponent. Precision damage from shotguns was removed from Destiny 1 with the exception of a couple of guns, most notably the Chaperone, which uses slug rounds. I honestly can't remember if we've seen precision damage with a shotgun in any Destiny 2 clips yet, so I just wanted to make note of it just in case we haven't yet. As a warlock, you can glide and shoot at the same time, but I feel like I've mentioned this before somewhere or I've seen it before somewhere, but I'm just gonna mention it again. So those were the most notable things from the new reveal. Again, all the links are in the description. Uh, no strong feelings one way or the other from me on most of the stuff here. I know some people are gonna complain about Bungie reusing some assets. I personally am very indifferent to it. If the map's good, then I don't really care too much. Void Wall for Sentinel, eh, not the hugest fan of that, but oh well. Shoulder charge, I can understand it not wanting to be a one-shot kill, totally get it, but man, they really, really neutered it. It's probably for the betterment of the game that it's not a one-shot, obviously, but maybe a little more damage on it would be cool. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Again, links are in the description to all of IGN's footage and coverage. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.